Hey, how's it going guys? Today I have the RCA Viking Pro tablet here. I reviewed this tablet about four months ago, and in my review video I said that this is the cheapest reductive tablet out there. And I still stick with that, but I guess I wasn't too clear on what I meant when I said that. This is first of all not a laptop killer by any means. I mean, it's good for what it is, like this is a great secondary device I'll say. Uh, but by secondary device, I mean something like, oh, I guess I'm not signed in. Um, but by that, I mean this is great for watching some videos like media consumption on YouTube and stuff like that. Or browsing the web casually. And, uh, you know, it can it can also uh, take like Microsoft Word and Excel, doc, Excel applications too. So, I mean, you can do that kind of stuff. But nothing too heavy on here. And uh, this can also play games pretty well too. Like, I've, I've played a couple of games here. I guess the most heavy one was uh, Asphalt Nitro and Asphalt 8. Now, with the games, I'll say here, let me take it out of the keyboard. I'll get to the keyboard in just a second. Yeah, with, with the games here, everything runs fairly smoothly. Now, with these higher games, higher end games that are more uh, graphic intense, they kind of do lag a little more and you tend to notice that, but they're still playable, I'll say. So, I mean, if you're thinking about getting this for a kid, um, I, th I would say this is a great gift to give. I mean, me personally, if I was a kid and I got this, I would be really happy. I mean, assuming that I don't have, like, an iPhone or anything like that. I mean, for what it is, it's pretty good. Let me show you really quickly. Now, I will mention that the graphics may look a little downscaled if you play on something like a uh, higher-end, like, smartphone or tablet doesn't look as bright. Oh, and speaking of brightness, this um, can get fairly bright, like if you put it all the way. It doesn't get, it doesn't look too bright though, that's the problem. And uh, it definitely doesn't work outdoors, I'll say that for sure, like if I open my blinds for a second. Hold on, uh, let me go ahead, max brightness. And you see if I have this open, like the light just shines on it. You won't be able to see the screen at all. Oh, let me go ahead and play this a little bit. Yeah, so not, not too much lag so far, so. Yeah, and like I said, the graphics do look downscaled scaled a bit, but it's still really good, I'll say. I mean, I don't know if, it might be a little hard to tell on video, but yeah. And then there's this the speaker back here. It's located in the back. It doesn't sound that good, like I said in the original review. And yeah, I still don't like them. They get fairly loud, not too much. But you can always put a headphone jack. There's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack where you can uh, place your headphones on here. Or you can take uh, care of the, take advantage of the Bluetooth and hook it onto a Bluetooth device, Bluetooth speaker or something. So that's pretty nice how you have other options than this. And there's uh, 32 gigs of onboard storage. You get you get about like uh, 20 something available. And there's also a micro SD card for expansion if you want. Now the problem with the SD expansion is that it doesn't support apps to SD card. Like I've tried doing this. I haven't rooted my tablet by the way. But yeah, I've tried doing this and it just doesn't work. I mean, it's really just disappointing. That's the one major downside about it. I don't, I don't really have an SD card hook, so I can't show you anyways. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna say it's not compatible for transferring apps. And uh, yeah, the other thing, I had a little concern, never really mentioned it, but with the reset button here, that, you know, it's there and you might accidentally press it. Now with that, I actually never pressed it once, surprisingly. Because the reason being is this is more flushed in than the volume keys that are back here. And uh, you, have, you actually have to like put a little focus into pressing it. And when you do press it, all it does is it just turns the tablet off completely. It's You can almost think of it as a way to, uh, I mean it's a res way to reset it. Like if you take the battery out of your Galaxy phones, like for anyone who has an S5 or before, you take uh, the Galaxy battery out and put it back in. It's just like that. 
The other thing is this is the power button here. The power button, it's kind of like hard to notice sometimes, like I have to play around to find where it is. And it's it's a really small thing, but I just thought it was worth mentioning. As for the cameras, there's there's a camera on the front and back here. I haven't really used them to be honest with you, but again, these can both record and you can um, use Skype and stuff, so that function is there if you want it. I mean, it looks very grainy and staticky, like, let me go ahead and try to open the camera app. Yeah, I guess, let me turn it around for a second. Yeah, like that looks really grainy. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna really show too much. But I mean, that's what you should expect. You shouldn't really be buying this tablet for the camera. You know, that's that's the end part. And the other nice thing is that there's a, a lighter browser that people recommended to me, and this actually works really great. It's called the Puffin Browser. This is a lot faster than freaking Google Chrome. Like, that thing was really slow. Oh, now I have no internet connection, so I can't really show you. Yeah, my Wi-Fi really sucks here, so I'm really sorry about that, guys. I can't test it out. But yeah, it's, it's really smooth. It loads things, like, I don't know, almost twice as fast. The keyboard here feels pretty cheap. And, um, I mean, at first I was like, okay, that's kind of what you expect. I mean, it's it's nice that they even include a keyboard with it, I'll say that much, for sure. The only downside I had was, um, was when I was typing. And so when I do type, there's a slight delay when I'm, like, backspacing, and I might end up deleting more than what I, uh, anticipated. Oh, and, and one other big thing is that... It really slows down when there's stuff running in the background. So the best thing the best thing I found out is just close everything else when you're using an application. And it's kind of tedious to do it frequently, but I mean, you'll get used to it. And if something's downloading in the background, it really just slows down and I don't like that. It, it kind of gets annoying sometimes, but again, you know, you uh, kind of get used to it at a certain point. But overall for the price, like I said, it's great. It's good as a first gift to give to a kid, uh, or it's good for a secondary device. Like I said, you know, for media consumption, for light get gaming, and a little bit of you know work here and there. Because these are the mobile versions of Microsoft Excel and Word. The other thing I would recommend is if you're looking for something more productive, if you're looking for like a Windows 10 tablet or laptop out there. I recently reviewed this right here. This is the higher pad. W103. This retails for a little more. This costs $150, but it's pretty good. It runs Windows 10, has 2 gigs of RAM, an Intel Atom pro processor quad core, and stuff like that. If you want to check out the review, the link is down below in the description, or check out the RCA Cambio, which is just like similar to this, but it doesn't have a premium plated um, full metal back and stuff. And if you don't care about that stuff, then yeah, the RCA Cambio is a great choice. I think that's the next best thing. So yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I might make one other video because I've had a lot of people asking uh, the same amount of questions I've noticed. And so if you want me to make one other video on this, uh, leave a comment down below with any question you have. And I guess I'll feature that in one of my next videos. So yeah, be sure to subscribe, and again, thanks for watching.